In last week's video when I was bending the sides for the cutaway, I burnt the sides. Yeah. So how am I going to fix that? What am I going to do? There's all kinds of things I could do, but you're going to have to tune in to find out what I did. Hey guys, welcome to the shop. In this series, we're building a guitar that you guys are designing, then I'm building it, and then I'm going to give it back to one of you. All you have to do to have a chance to win this guitar is subscribe here on YouTube, then go to my website, spenceracoustics.com, fill out that little two-line form that pops up, and just like that, you've got a chance to win this guitar. In last week's video, I burnt the sides pretty bad. Uh, they're beyond salvaging, at least in the burnt area. So today I'm going to show you what I did, how I changed the plan here. Um, I didn't want to throw away those sides because they match the back so nicely. So I, And I didn't want to start over by cutting more sides and sanding and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to show you what I did to salvage these. Um, we just changed cutaway styles, but it meant that I had to build a few extra things that I didn't already have. So we're going to start off with that, but then I'll, I'll get to what I did to fix those sides. We need to change from this style of cutaway to this style of cutaway. So what I could do is I could press this all in here and make a mark of where I need to cut this off, but I don't want to risk breaking this thin piece of wood. So all I'm going to do is just grip, get one of these flexible measuring tapes and I'm going to put my tape down at the back end there, stretch it around nice and tight around to the point and it looks like it's 20 and an eighth of an inch that's just a, maybe a sixteenth of an inch long now if I mark it on here get this lined up to the back of my piece and 20 and 1 eighth you can see we've got lots of room we're nowhere near that burn mark there let me grab a pencil. I can get a square and just put it on this the top side of my pieces here. Line it up with my mark. And that's where the, that side's going to get cut off. Right there. I don't want any glue to squirt out of this knot hole here and glue itself to uh, one of my clamps or something like that. So I'm just going to put some wax paper over that. Just kind of play it safe. I want to make sure that I'm keeping this in as flush as I can as possible. So what I'm trying to do down here is have just a thin little line for an end graft instead of actually putting on an end graft, but we'll see.
Okay, I'm, I'm gonna bend this the exact same way I would a full-size side. Um, I'm gonna try and get this back edge lined up on that line. That's where it's gonna meet the other part of the body. So I'm probably gonna have to just get it bent first and then do some wiggling around, pull it up to the mark. Uh, but we'll play around with that a bit. But I'm putting my blankets and my steel just like normal. I'm going to heat it up like normal, but instead of a big machine to bend it, um, I'm going to have this block on the top, and this clamp is going to go between the holes to clamp it down into position. Once I get it close, <clears throat> or you know, kind of bent, then I can wiggle around and get this piece lined up. Um, then I go ahead and pull it down tight. When I get it tight, I'm going to replace these clamps with uh, my blue, my blue clamps that give it a little bit more pressure but these ones will allow me to ratchet it down there fairly quickly. All right, I think we're ready to roll. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the temperature, start watching this. I'm also gonna go grab my um, welding gloves because this is gonna be a little hot, obviously. And I might have to move things around. Decent set of welding gloves comes in handy. Now there's a lot of stuff going on here. I may not, I may be in the way of the camera, so uh, if that happens, I apologize. Okay, I'm starting to see steam, so I'm going to pull out these middle clamps. Go ahead and shut that off for a second. This needs to go this direction. bent already but I still gotta move that around to about the right spot and that that looks good right there Whenever possible, before you glue something up, you should do a dry run like this. It's going to teach you a few different things. For example, I learned that I needed to put this extra block up here at the top in order to get our part that's going to be against the neck um, to get it nice and straight. It'll allow you to get the clamps out and the other proper tools that you need. I've got everything sitting out beside me here that I'm going to need through this. So let's take this apart and we'll go ahead and glue this up. Now the important thing is when I'm doing this, I need to make sure the best I can to get this lined up. I've got a pencil mark drawn in here. I need to do the best I can to make sure that that lines up. At least this piece here, this is gonna be the part that's showing. This part, if it moves out this way or back a little bit, I'm not so worried about it. But I wanna get this piece as close to that line as I can.
Alright. Now how I did this a minute ago is I got it really close by hand. Like this. Then I dropped in my block. Put this back clamp on here as a second tack. Then I want to check my piece and it moved away from the line. I don't know if you can see that, but it's about a quarter inch away from the line. So I'm going to try and shift it down. There we go. That's on the line there. And I can't see it on the other side, but as long as this is flush, going in there straight and it should be on the line on the other side. You see how this is falling away? That's a, That dry fit showed me that I needed to pull that over. I wouldn't have known that if I hadn't done a dry fit and then I may not have had pieces around that I could grab really quick. Fortunately I do have quite a bit of working time with this glue so it's not that big of a deal but Sometimes you don't have the, the luxury of a little extra time. Pull that in just a bit for now. Feed this one through. Now it's clamped tightly against this. Get this other side here just a little better. Now I want to make sure that this is pulled back flat on there, so I'm going to put in another block. Yeah. Here. And I'm going to throw on a couple more clamps. One over here. Pull that back. Alright, now we have all of our sides bent and glued for this guitar, so next time what we're going to be doing is fitting them all together and actually making a rim shape out of this thing, and we'll finally have something that resembles a guitar. Thanks again for watching everybody. If you haven't entered the guitar giveaway contest, make sure you hit subscribe here, then run over to my website, spenceracoustics.com, fill out that little two-line form that pops up and you're entered to win this guitar. Have a good week, everybody. I'll see you on Friday.